So a quick reaction to UFC 277 main event and some of the precursors to that. I absolutely loved it. The Amanda Nunes and Juliana Pena fight. Man, that was a battle. It was one of the most enjoyable fights I have watched in a long time. I think that the game plan coming in from Amanda Nunes was brilliant. Switching to a southpaw stance, leading off of that right jab slash hook, really gave Pena a lot to think about. She tried to step inside and grapple, but man, Pena had some endurance in that fight. Five rounds, the last two pretty much on her back, but constantly dangerous, constantly like getting the knee across the chest and attacking arm bars, umoplates, kimuras, you name it. It was absolutely fantastic. I was smiling from ear to ear watching that fight. I was absolutely delighted for Amanda Nunes to get the belt back. I think that she deserved it. An absolute dominant, an absolute dominant performance. I haven't enjoyed a main event like that in a long time. Two absolute warriors. And I mean, if there's anyone going to come and try to take that title off Amanda Nunes, Juliana Pena, go back to the drawing board, start again, come back fresh because she looked great. There's not really much more I can say. Brandon Moreno, Kai Kara France fight. Absolutely loved it. Kai Kara France was absolutely pinpoint with his accuracy. I think that the game plan was spot on. He's so accurate and fast and talented. My money was on Kai Kara France going into that fight. I think Brandon Moreno controlled the center of the octagon brilliantly. He had such a strong, wide, big stance. And he made it awkward for Kai Kara France to get inside. And I think ultimately it was a really good game plan by Moreno. The kick that finished the fight. First of all, I thought it was a low kick. I thought it was a grind kick. I was like, whoa, what the fuck happened here? And then I saw it on the replay and the bang off of it, the toe nearly went through the rib cage, and you could see Kai Kara France's face wincing in absolute agony. I never saw something like that. It was absolutely brilliant. He jumped on him and he beat him. But in the aftermath of that, beautiful respect shown between the two fighters which i love i love the respect shown between the two fighters in the aftermath of that and then we had figueredo in the crowd and then brandon moreno called him out they brought him into the ring i haven't seen anything like that since brock lesnar jumped in and bounced dc that was all a bit theatrical and a bit fake this wasn't fake this was genuine this was honest the two guys faced off brandon moreno put out his hand offered complete and utter respect to figueredo who reciprocated these two men these two warriors who are gonna fight and we'll know who the ultimate champion will be in the aftermath of that these two guys who are definitely gonna fight they shook hands they raised their arms in the air in a beautiful form of mutual respect which we're just not seeing too much of anymore and again i just thought it was absolutely fantastic and as i said this is a quick reaction Derek lewis was unlucky i think the referee stepped in way too quick I think he was bouncing back up and I think there was a lot more left in that fight. We were denied it by a quick decision. And then we had the Anthony Smith fight, hurt his leg, couldn't really do much, tried to hang on. Anthony Smith is a good guy, wish him the best of luck going forward. All in all, I actually really enjoyed this card. It was the first card in ages that I really, really enjoyed. More of this, please. And congratulations to Amanda Nunes and Juliana Pena for putting on one of the best main cards, one of the best five round battles that I've seen in a long time. Do me a favor. If you like anything that I said here, hit subscribe. Cheers.